With less than four months to go until Election Day, you're going to see a lot of polling broken out between now and then. But here's one. According to the latest Fox News Latino poll released just yesterday, Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton holding a commanding lead over rival Donald Trump among Hispanic voters, 59 percent to 17 percent. This, as another new poll shows, Hillary Clinton leading Trump 44 to 39 percent in the fight for Florida. Specifically, you know, Florida is a crucial state in this election. 29 electoral votes up for grabs. Meanwhile, presidential nominee Donald Trump following in rival Hillary Clinton's footsteps today, calling on Congress to fund Zika efforts as the virus continues to spread panic in the Sunshine State. There are now 25 cases of locally acquired Zika. There are hundreds of Zika cases where people came in already having it, but 25 locally acquired. Also, Florida's Hispanic community grappling with Donald Trump's plan to build a wall to protect our borders. So how is the city of Miami responding to such a proposal? And what are elected officials doing to combat this mosquito-borne virus? The mayor of Miami, the city of Miami, Florida, Tomas Regalado, joining us live from Miami, Florida, in a Fox Business exclusive. Sir, you are the mayor. You are a Latino. You are a Republican. What are you making of this presidential race right now? Well, I think there's a lot of people, Liz, uh, that are very uncomfortable with both candidates, but, but uh, they are very uncomfortable with uh, Mr. Trump because he has been saying all along that he doesn't like people that don't look like him. And the thing is that Miami is the most diverse city in the United States. We have little Haiti, we have little Havana, we have little Managua, and, and people are really uh, nervous uh, about what's going to happen if uh, and when uh, Donald Trump becomes president. And, uh, you know, that thing about the wall, we are not impacted as much uh, as uh, probably the West by the wall, but we do have a sea of wall. You see it. Uh, back there. Right. So there are hundreds and hundreds of people from Haiti, from Cuba, uh, coming in into Florida. And uh, the thing is that the United States doesn't have uh, an immigration policy. And uh, the, the, what Mr. Trump won of deporting a, a, a lot of people that are now right, right. part of the fiber of Miami well, let me, is wrong. So I, I just want to clarify one thing. I, I personally have never heard him say, I don't like people who don't look like me. I, I think you're using... No, I said that. I said that. You, you, that's, okay, I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. And I, and I no, understand I why that. you might interpret that, but you as a Republican, what are you going to do come November when you go into the ballot polling booth? It will be an on the boat. I will not vote uh, for Donald Trump. I will not vote uh, for Hillary Clinton because I don't trust her. Will and you I vote don't, for Gary uh, Johnson? Uh, you're, are you just simply no, going I to won't. leave it, 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 it No, no, it would be an on the vote. And, and trust me, there are many people that are thinking the way I think. I'm just one person. But uh, I'm telling you that I've been talking to a lot of people here in Miami. And uh, people just uh, are very uncomfortable with uh, the two major candidates and, and, the, the and the Latino vote, population. Uh, the Latino vote in Florida. Talk about the, the punch that it can give to either one of these candidates. Well, it could, it could, but let me, let me tell you that we have a very diverse Latino community. Uh, there's a, a lot of older Cubans that are really hardcore Republicans that, that have told me I will close my eyes and vote for Trump because he's a Republican. I don't like Hillary. Uh, but there is a lot of uh, Latinos, uh, Puerto Ricans and Colombians and even young Cubans that will go for Hillary. So you, you, won't, see, uh, you won't see a whole Latino uh, movement mm -hmm. here going this way or, or that way. We are we're kind of different than the rest of, of the, the United well, now, States. Well, now we also have you different in a way that you have 25 local cases that were acquired in Florida, specifically in Palm Beach County and then, of course, Broward County. This is serious when it comes to the Zika virus. Congress went on recess. They had cobbled together a, a one billion plus bill. They couldn't get it passed. Uh, Hillary Clinton said, come back off recess. Now Donald Trump is saying the same thing, that Congress needs to approve funding. Uh, it appears the Obama administration is now diverting, and this is new news, diverting 81 million away from health care and anti-poverty programs to fight Zika. Uh, sir, who's doing the most here? Well, actually, none, because uh, we haven't had uh, any uh, real response 
from Washington, neither from Congress or the administration. I mean, we're fighting this uh, along here. Today, we had the visit of the Surgeon General of the United States here in Wynwood, in what is called Ground Zero. He just went for a photo op, but uh, nothing happened at, at, at that meeting. Uh, creating awareness uh, to the pregnant woman. But you know, it, this is having uh, a very uh, a, a great impact on the economy here in the city of Miami. I can tell you that Wynwood, which is an art and restaurants uh, area, have been singled out as uh, the ground zero right, in right. the United States for new cases. But I will tell you, Liz, there are 300 businesses, 3,000 employees. The last week, uh, all the business saw a 50% decline oh. in their business. They are cutting uh, hours from the workers. And, and this is horrible because, uh, like you said, there are cases in West Palm, there are cases uh, in uh, Broward County next to us, uh, but they are singled out. I mean, I understand the media. I mean, uh, Wynwood is right. exotic. Right. You have the graffiti, you have the thing, but, uh, right. but the fact of the matter is that we have not uh, seen help. We've seen a parade of uh, politicians, and uh, all of them yeah. said okay. a special session is not going to happen. Mayor Regalado, thank you very much. And, and it is becoming an election issue. It sounds like it. And when it hits business communities, I hope that so. matters too. Thank you, Mayor. It's great to have you. We appreciate you okay. coming on.